is happening gang it's your boy retro back again with another reaction video yeah yeah as we all know guys new york's attorney general Letitia james case um with trump is finally wrapping up guys we're hearing you know the closing statements on that whole charade case um that legal witch hunt that's been going on up in new york for some time now you know the prosecutor or the attorney general Letitia james cannot stay off social media um, slandering Trump, guys, as she took to Twitter, tweeted some very questionable things, guys. I'm trying to check out uh, in this clip. So we're going to get straight into the clip, and then I'll get my thoughts on the back end, guys. So let's get straight into it. Uh, before we do that, though, make sure you guys smash that like button, guys. It does not cost a thing. Hit that like button for your boy. Also, hit that subscribe button, guys. We're on the road to the truth. Hop aboard for the journey. Let's get into it, y'all. Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind. We gotta continue to expose these ridiculous partisan witch hunts. And I know the leftist media hates that term. They hate when Donald Trump says that when he calls it a witch hunt. They were outraged through the 2018 to 2020 period when Donald Trump would call the whole Russia collusion nonsense a clearly politically motivated witch hunt. It turned out though that he was right. Now the question is, is he right in this case? The media will tell you, no, of course not. He's facing legitimate prosecution, not political persecution. That's what they tell you. But keep in mind, those are the same dishonest losers who lied endlessly in the past and were wrong about pretty much everything. Well, apparently, we're supposed to simply take their word for it and ignore anything that Donald Trump says, automatically writing it off as a lie. I'm just not seeing it, folks, and I'll tell you my perspective. It seems as though Letitia James's civil trial is finished. Let's take a look at the wrap-up. We got some stuff to get into, so let's roll the tape. All right, folks, the New York civil case against the Trump organization has wrapped up, and boy, Boy, the final claim made by New York Attorney General Letitia James. Oh, whoa, whoa. I mean, whoa. It's some real scathing stuff. This is real, by the way. You'd expect a tweet like this more from a parody account. But no, this is legitimately Letitia James. She first starts off with the whole Mar-a-Lago thing. We've already covered that before. Her assertion is that the appraised value of Mar-a-Lago is $25 million. There's literally small plots of land in that area for the same price, but okay. But then she continues with, they regularly and intensely intentionally pretended that legal restrictions on properties didn't exist to inflate these values. Take the 12 apartments on Park Avenue that they pretended were not rent stabilized. Park Avenue Trump's value roughly $50 million. The true value, according to Letitia James, is $739,000. <laughs> What am I looking at? What am I reading? This is the case, folks. Now, I'm not exactly sure what building they're talking about here, but I'm assuming it's the building that Donald Trump owns on Park Avenue, which is Trump Park Avenue 502 Park Avenue, which is located on the Upper East Side between 59th Street and 60th Street. This is probably one of the most prestigious places to live in New York City. Do a quick little Zillow search, and this is what you'll find. 4,000 square foot condos in that area, so let's call them comps, running from $27 million to $35 million each. Now, obviously, it's not a perfect comparison, Harrison, because supposedly these 12 units were rent stabilized, but in what universe, even if rent stabilized, would the property be appraised at $60,000 a unit? We're talking about 12 apartments on Park Avenue in New York City. The value of that real estate is incredibly high. None of this makes sense. None of Letitia James's claims ever really made sense. I mean, just the thought off the top of my head, if that's the case that those 12 units are only worth a little less than 800 grand, then the state of New York and New York City theoretically should owe the Trump organization a good chunk of change in property taxes that he clearly overpaid. This is Letitia James's big case. This. I've never seen anything so ridiculous. I've never seen such a grifter in my life. Her Twitter account gives me the creeps, man. It's full on narcissism on full display. But most importantly, it's Trump obsession. Donald Trump made some statements after the trial ended. A little bit of a long clip, I'll try to cut it down, but you know, it's worth listening to because it's relevant. She's a political hack, the attorney general. Uh, the judge is obviously extremely friendly with the group. And we'll see uh, what happens. I think maybe he uh, may surprise people on a positive side. We'll have to see what happens exactly. But uh, we've proven this case so conclusively. Uh, we've asked for directed verdict many times. Uh, they don't have any facts. They don't have any evidence against us. Millions and millions of pages, years of litigation, and all politically motivated. She campaigned on a I will get Trump. If you've ever seen any of the, uh, seen any of her 
clips they're horrible clips actually the anger she's got serious trump derangement syndrome there's no question about letitia james the corrupt attorney general of new york so we've proven our case there's not one witness against us other than one person who is a, a deranged he's got a lot of problems he's a man who's uh, been convicted of lying he's a felon convicted felon and uh, not a good person but that's their only witness and he's now crashed and burned they have no witnesses and by the way that witness took back everything that he said he took back everything he said in court took it all back not think of it not one witness millions of pages of document years of this nonsense and now it goes on and one other factor we won this case already in the court of appeals the court of appeals voted in favor of us but this judge has been very very slow to accept that opinion because that's not the opinion that he wants but we won in the court of appeals that's the boss of this judge who has to know that that's the story and i thought we'd come down to 40 wall street which is a great building and you'd get a chance to see one of the nicest buildings in new york and a convenient place and i don't have to pay any rent because we have it and it's been a very successful building but it's a shame to have to have gone through this for years and years and years and now we'll see if we're going to get an honest verdict we didn't have a jury we had no rights to a jury it's a statute that's never been used before for a purpose like this. I just watched a certain broadcast and they said, you know, they've been looking, has it ever been used before? This is a statute that's a consumer fraud statute, never been used for anything like this before. And it's a shame. It's, uh, it's really a, uh, it's a witch hunt in the truest sense of the word. It's election interference. And uh, it just came out, I, this was just, Right now, Letitia James visited Joe Biden in the White House numerous times during the Trump witch hunt. And this just came out about 10 minutes ago, I got it. And so it's all, it's all a conspiracy to try and get Biden, who can't put two sentences together, trying to get him into office. So I just want to let you know that uh, we have our best poll numbers, we have the best everything, despite this, and maybe because of this, because the people of the United States, all of those people back there, but the people of the United States really get it. They get it better than anybody else. Yeah, please. And once again, you know, whose word are we taking? The lying fake news media hacks and hacks like Letitia James or Donald <laughs> Trump, who's been proven right time and time again on these exact issues. And once again, he is right. Letitia James is Trump obsessed. It's unreal. I've never seen anything like it. Just scroll through her Twitter. It's crazy. All she ever does is tweet about Donald Trump. Trump this, Trump that, Trump, 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 Trump. Non-stop Trump. I mean, this woman wants you to believe that this property right over here, this, it's a freaking beachfront castle. I drive by this property regularly. I love the scenic route of the A1A. I go there all the time just for inspiration purposes. It's a freaking compound. It's a freaking castle. But Letitia James wants you to believe that that property is worth $25 million. Letitia James legitimately wants you to believe that this property is worth less than a 4,000 square foot condo on Park Avenue in New York City. Make it make sense. Of course you can't because it obviously doesn't. It makes absolutely no sense. The claims are ridiculous and this case would have never happened if Donald Trump wasn't running for president in 2024. And it's really clear from all these mask off moments that we see from these leftoids on Twitter. Here's a great example. Bought and paid for Democrat Gen Z shill Victor She writes, hey MSNBC and CNN, why are you airing Donald Trump's press conference right now? You are giving him free airtime to lie without any fact checks whatsoever. Stop treating him like a normal presidential candidate and giving him a national platform to misinform and lie. Stop treating him like a normal presidential candidate. Yeah, of course, suppress your opponents. Don't allow them to defend themselves. No, of course not. The only person who's allowed to lie and misinform is apparently Letitia James and the rest of these left-wing corporate hacks. The whole thing's an absolute farce. There seems to be no merit to this case whatsoever. The claims are completely outrageous. But honestly, in the end, I don't think that's going to matter. I think regardless of the facts of this case, they've already made up their mind. Letitia James already pretty much said the quiet part out loud. Before this trial even began, the judge ruled in our favor and found that Donald Trump did engage in years of significant financial fraud we uncovered.
And so, most likely, I think it's pretty likely that they're going to reach a verdict of guilty. They're going to claim that the Trump organization owes X amount of dollars. It's going to be this big thing. They're going to get their headline because at the end of the day, obviously, that's what this whole yeah. thing is about. It's an absolute disgrace. The judge has been horrible. Letitia James is honestly, I'm just going to say it, probably one of the worst human beings I've ever observed. But I guess it's yet again another day experiencing the Democrat definition of democracy. Yo, there we have it, guys. Coming from our friend Liberal Hive Mind. Definitely going to be sure to leave that original video link down in the description box below for those of you who want to go over there. Check that out. Also, you guys will go over there and show our friend Liberal Hive Mind some love. Yo, there we have it, guys. Donald Trump absolutely fuming, going off, letting you know how he feels about this political witch hunt. In that rant, guys, he's going off after the closing arguments. He lets us know that Letitia James does have Trump derangement syndrome. I about fell out of my seat when I heard him say it. Um, you know I've been saying that for quite some time. And I feel like we've all been saying that, you know, this is one of the most blatant and obvious cases of Trump derangement syndrome. And it looks like it hurts, guys. The level of her illness is up there with the likes of Whoopi Goldberg from The View, a.k.a. The Spew, with the way they just cannot get over Trump. When you see Attorney General Letitia James's Twitter account, just her Twitter, um, we're going to leave all the other social media platforms out of it, just her Twitter account alone, you can see that during a highlighted search, if you just highlight the search Trump, um, you will just get so many hits, hit after hit after hit, because that is what she is tweeting nonstop, day in and day out. She is tweeting, trying to defame this man's name. Um, and that's what this case was all about. It wasn't about, you know, whether or not Trump was innocent or guilty, guys. They they already had their verdict from the beginning. She's already said that before. This was about getting Trump up there on trial and, you know, getting a guilty verdict. So they get that big headline that says, you know, Trump found guilty, civil fraud. You know, we see this as this is a whole charade case. We go back and we look at what Mar-a-Lago looks like. You're going to really tell me that's value $25 million. No way, no, no way, no day, guys. We see what up. Uh, Average size condo, 4,000 square foot would get you for $25 million in New York. Down the block, we got a beachfront, almost look like a resort mansion, castle, like Liberal High. It looks like a castle, guys. There is one reason that Letitia James brought about this civil fraud case um, for Trump, and that is because he announced he's going to run for 2024 presidency, guys. Um, and also that she built her campaign solely based off of her slogan, we're going to take Trump down, guys. He will pay. We're going to make him pay for everything he's done. This whole civil fraud case with Letitia James, Turner General Letitia James um, and the New York judge, Arthur Ingram, um, has been a bittersweet, you know, um, kind of run in. I mean, it sucks that Trump has to be put through, you know, this these baloney, um, you know, proceeding court proceedings. There's no there's no real trial. There's no um, jury. He's not, you know, being judged by his peers it's solely by this judge who already has you know this uh predetermined disposition on trump he believes that he is guilty but then again that's the good part about this all the sweet part um that we're getting to see you know the public all of the public is getting to see that um leticia james um arthur ingram had these biases they are political hag jobs and that they don't deserve the seats that they're currently holding guys um and, and that's the good part about this we're getting you know getting an eye-open experience seeing what you know, the left's um, version of democracy looks like. Uh, these eye-opening cases are, you know, waking up uh, the American people that this is not the democracy that we want to stand for, guys. This is not who we want in charge. Um, and this is, you know, kind of furthering the reason why we need to get Trump back in office. When we're seeing the way that they're weaponizing the Department of Justice system against Trump, keep him off that ballot. Um, that's when we know it's time to step and it's time for a change, guys. This is why it's more important than ever to make sure that we get out and vote this election season, guys. Get Trump back in office so that he can make sure he lets these people know. He sets the tone that this will never happen again. Guys, definitely hop in the comment section and let me know your thoughts, guys. Also, make sure you guys hit that like button, guys. It does not cost a thing. Hit that like button for your boy. Also, hit that subscribe button, guys. We're on the road to the truth. Hop aboard for the journey. I'll catch you guys on the next one week. Oh.